हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी टेक एंड डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन चैप्टर ऑफ योर सेलेबस व्हिच इज क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन एंड इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी टेक एंड डिस्कस द टॉपिक सॉल्विंग द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन बाय फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड इन प्रीवियस क्लास नाउ इन टुडेस क्लास वी टेक and discuss the topic solution of a quadratic equation today we are going to discuss about the topic solution of the quadratic equation of the quadratic equation by using the formula okay by using the formula we today we are going to discuss about the topic solution of the quadratic equation by using the formula dear student now we will discuss about the chapter the topic first we discuss about what is the quadratic formula what is quadratic formula let suppose that let us consider we have a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 we know that ki this is the form general standard form of the general form of the quadratic equation quadratic why because of the highest power of uh, its uh, the highest degree of the variable is 2 so it is said to be in the quadratic here a b c are any real number okay now after comparing the given equation by the standard equation we have we find the value a b and c first we find the value a b as it after that we apply the formula for x this is the quadratic equation in x so the value of x there are two roots of the quadratic equation so minus b this is plus minus in square root b square minus 4ac upon 2a This is the quadratic form. This rule is also known as Sridharachari rule. This is also this formula is also known given by the Sridharachari. So it is also says uh, said to be a Sridharachari rule. Okay. And here plus minus indicate that there are two roots of the quadratic equation. One is alpha. We take alpha as minus b plus a square root. This is b square minus 4ac upon 2a. And second one is beta. Because of you know that we already discussed about in previous classes that there are two roots of any quadratic equation, and beta second one is minus b minus in square root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So there are two roots of the quadratic equation like alpha and beta, and combined we can write minus b plus minus in square root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. And here the value b square minus 4ac is called the discriminant of the quadratic equation. Okay, the value here d is equal to the value the value the expression b square minus 4ac. D is equal to b square minus 4ac. This is called the discriminant. This is called the this. discriminant of quadratic equation discriminant of the quadratic equation discriminant of the quadratic equation and uh, one more, most important thing is there ki the nature of the roots of the quad any quadratic equation depends on its discriminant depends on its discriminant okay so dear student is clear that ki the nature of the roots of any quadratic equation the is depends on its discriminant okay this is the very important concept related to that so if any equation we find the discriminant to so we apply the formula b square minus 4ac like that look we take some important question
first of all we take a simple question find the discriminant of the given equation find the discriminant of the given equation and equation is root 3x square minus 2 under root 2x minus 2 under root 3 is equal to 0 okay here find the discriminant of the given equation this is the given equation now let's see its solution look in order to find the discriminant first of all we find the value of a and b first of all we compare by we compare by the equation we compare with the equation with the equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 that is the value of a is what root 3 because of a is what dear students a is the coefficient of x square so here in that question the coefficient of x square is 3 root 3 so a is what root 3 similarly now here the coefficient of x is b so here the coefficient of x is what minus 2 root 2 so for that question the value of b is what minus 2 under root 2 okay and last term is your constant term independent from x so here the value as c as constant value the value of c is what minus 2 root 3 minus take together if here plus sign so we don't write plus okay but here minus is there so we take minus 2 root 3 same as the minus 2 root 2 okay so in this way we find the value of a b and c now we find the discriminant of the given question let like that is its discriminant d is what b square minus 4 ac because of the value of the discriminant is find by using that formula now look we put the value b means minus now this is the value of b is what minus 2 under root 2 square minus 4 into a is what root 3 c is what minus 2 root 3 now we simplify the given expression so look 2 to the this is plus 4 into 2 because of root 2 into root 2 that is 2 minus minus that is plus this is 4 into root 3 into 2 root 3 now this is 8 plus 4 to the 8 into root 3 root 3 that is 3 ok now what I get this is 8 plus 8 3 is a 24 8 3 is a what dear friends 24 now so 24 8 this is 32 so in this way the required solution of the given question is what 32 so in this way by using the concept of discriminant we find the discriminant of the given any quadratic equation by using that formula so that is the discriminant is equal to our 32 so in this way you can solve that type of questions this is one of the most important topic of your of the chapter now we take and solve some other important question related to that topic take a very important question solve the equation solve the equation 3x square plus 3x square plus 2 root 5x 
3x square plus 2 root 5x minus 5 is equal to 0 minus 5 is equal to 0 by using the formula by by using the formula now let's see its solution this is a very important question of your syllabus okay let's see here we solve the given equation by using the formula we don't factorize them we just using apply the quadratic formula and simplify them look so first of all we write given equation given equation this is 3x square plus 2 root 5x minus 5 is equal to 0 now we compare from now we compare from the equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 now we compare from the equation ax square this is the general form of the quadratic equation so here look the coefficient of x square is a here that is 3 that is the value of a is what 3 now b is the coefficient of x here the coefficient of x is what 2 root 5 so here the value of b is what 2 under root 5 now C, C is your constant term. So in the given equation, the cost constant term is what? minus 5. This is minus 5. Okay. So in this way, we find the value of A, B, and C. Now we solving the given equation by formula. Now, the formula is now we apply the formula and what is the formula? We just discuss about that formula. That is for x, this is minus b plus minus under root. b square minus 4ac upon 2x. This is the formula. This is a quadratic formula. Minus b plus minus b square minus 4ab 4ac upon 2a. Now we put all this formula, all this question, all this value in the given formula. Look. That is x is equal to minus b. Two root five plus minus under root b square minus two root five minus four ac. A is what? C is what? upon that is 2a a 3 so first of all there should be put all the values in the given formula now we simplify them x is equal to this is minus 2 root 5 in square root that is 2 to the 4 5 the 20 is there minus minus that is plus okay that is plus so here 4 3 is a 12 4 3 is a 12 this is 60 is there upon 2 3 is a 6 so in this way just in now look
Now, we simplify them. This is minus two root five plus minus under root that is sixty plus twenty that is eighty upon six. Now look, we can write minus two root five plus minus eighty. We can write sixteen into five because sixteen five is eighty. We can split in split it then upon six. Now, or we can write as plus minus. We take four as common because of the square root of sixteen is what four. Four root five is left here upon six. Now, look. Dear student, first of all, look. First, because of a quadratic question has has two roots, so first of all we take plus. That is first first root. Now when we take minus, then we find the second root. Thus. First rule we take as alpha. We take minus sign to minus two root five plus sign plus four root five upon six. Both are the like terms. Both are the like terms, na? So now plus four minus two. That is plus two is left. So two root five plus two root five is left upon six. Two three is a six. Two root five upon three. This is the First root of the given quadratic equation. This is the first answer. Okay. Now, second one is what? When we take negative sign, so that is beta. We take as beta, and the value of beta is what? Two. Minus two root five minus here this is four root five. Point six. That is. Four minus two minus four, both are the like terms now. So minus four minus two, that is minus six. So minus six root five is there upon six. So six six cancel to each other. So second root is what? Minus root five. This is the right next next equation solution. So in this way, we solving the given equation by using the formula. So in this way, you take you solve some other important question based on these topics. Now we take and solve some other important question. Related to that topic. Let's see. Now look, we solving some other important question. Solve the equation by using the formula. Solve the equation. Three a square x square plus. Eight a b x plus four b square equal to zero. Here, whenever a not equal to zero. So, this is the given equation. Dear friend, this is the equation is in variable form. So first we find the value of a b and c capital a b and c. So let's see its solution. So first given equation. Given this is three a square x square plus a b x plus. So now 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कंपेयर द गिवन इक्वेशन बाय द ओरिजिनल फॉर्म ऑफ इक्वेशन a स्क्वायर प्लस b x प्लस c इक्वल टू 0 वी टेक कैपिटल a b c बिकॉज़ ऑफ स्मॉल a b c इज मेंशन इन द आवर क्वेश्चन इन द गिवन क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस वे फॉर एनी कंफ्यूजन और डोंट एनी कंफ्यूजन वी टेक a b c एज कैपिटल ओके नो ऑन कंपेयरिंग बाय द गिवन इक्वेशन तो हियर दिस इज a इज वन coefficient of x square so here the coefficient of x square is not 3a square similarly the value of b in coefficient of x is what 8ab and the value of c as constant of that is 4b square that is 4b square now we apply the you know uh, formula now solving for x so minus b plus minus b square Minus 4ac upon 2a. Now we put the values. Minus b. This is minus 8. Ab is there. 4 to the 4. Chal. Minus 2 plus minus b square. B is what? 8ab square minus 4 into a. A is 3a square or a. C is what? 4b square. Upon 2a upon 2 into 3a square. Okay. Now look minus 3 8ab plus minus under root 8 is the 64a square b square plus. Uh, now 48 minus is there, no? Minus 48 a square b square divided by 6 a square. Now look here. That is x is equal to now minus 8 a b is I tell you this under root. This is 64 minus 48. This is 16 a square b square is left. 16 a square b square is left. Okay, hmm. Upon six a square. Now minus eight a b plus minus the square root of sixteen is four a b. Four a b taken out from the square root upon six a square. So in this way we simplify them. Now we take plus and one time we take minus. That is first root is what? Now. Alpha is what minus eight ab plus four ab upon six square. So that is what minus four ab upon six square. One one a cancel to each other. Two two is a two three is a. That is minus two b upon three a. This is first answer. Minus two b upon three a. And when we take negative sign. So this is beta. This is minus eight ab minus four ab upon six a square. That is, this is fourteen minus fourteen. Fourteen ab upon six a square. One eight cancel. Two three is a two seven is a. Okay. So seven. So eight six twelve. Now this is twelve. So six two is a twelve minus two b upon a. That is minus two b upon a. This is the first one. So in this way, you can solve all the question of your NCERT exam based on these topics. So dear students, in this way, in today's class, we discuss about the topic solving the quadratic equation by using the formula. Now in next class, we take and discuss the same topic and some other important question. Okay. Now thanks to all.